live. I think maybe. Let me know. Let me know out there if you're watching. Oh, oh man, the lights are way too bright, and I just bumped my camera. Let's see. Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's see here. What's up, JT Marks? How's it going? Yeah, let's turn this down. I like the, I like the, uh, <laughs> the shininess my lights are given to my dome. I'm going to hit that camera a lot. It's like right over my shoulder. You can see it here. I said my mic. I hit my camera. This is a uh, already starting out really good. Let me know if you can hear me. Anyways, I got uh, Jens. How you doing? The next Cantina video is going to be well, we record tomorrow. Um, so it'll be up this weekend. Probably um, I try to get the Cantina videos up Friday night, but I don't always have the ability to do that with my free time. So um it'll it'll definitely be up this weekend. I can't promise Friday night, but it'll be up this weekend for sure. Oh, excuse me. That was good. Oh, okay. I had I had a I've made biscotti for dinner, so that's that's coming back up. Anyways, I got some new figures and um it's kind of been bugging me that I haven't opened them yet. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd pop them open. Kato, Kato, you're here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I found the whole first wave of legacy figures. And I, I might open them up too. I don't know. I might. They're, they're options. They're here. I, I was going to do that on my Twitch stream because I feel like Twitch for me, uh, Twitch is more fun to like just transform stuff. Um, I, I've done it a couple times on my Twitch stream. If you guys haven't, haven't found it, it's just Mike Case. It's my name. Just like the channel, but on Twitch. Uh, anyways, I've got some Black Series figures. I got the whole wave. Um, I got... I got everything plus Papa Gord sent me this clone battalion right here. Uh, and there are doubles. So there's doubles of uh, Echo. There's doubles of Ahsoka. And there's doubles of the Death Watch Mando. Uh, I'm keeping both Death Watch Mandos because, you know, why not? But... Um, the other two doubles, uh, uh, Echo and Ahsoka, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I, I have a bunch of figures that I've been saving, that I've been getting, like I've collected over the last couple of years since my last giveaway for my next giveaway. So I, I think I might save them for my next giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I, I haven't opened them up yet, Kato. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to getting into them. I've got them all on pre-order. I immediately went and canceled my pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. For Legacy Wave One, because with my luck, I would buy them at the Walmart that I found them, and then on my way out to the parking lot, I'd get an email from Hasbro Pulse saying, "Hey, this just shipped," and I'd be like, "Oh, all right." So, um, that's that's the thing. I guess I guess I'm gonna do that. Uh, I might open them up. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna open up these Black Series figures because uh, it's been kind of bugging me a little bit that I've had them for a couple days and haven't opened them. So I just thought we'd have a nice, relaxing evening. Let me know how the audio quality is. Uh, what should I start with first? I kind of want to start with the Death Watch. Uh, I think I'm going to do Echo last. Um, dang it. That's real. That's going to be real annoying. Let me know if that's real annoying for you, because it's real annoying for me. Everything's so cramped. Let's do Death Watch Mando. Wilkams, how's it going? Now, um, of my two Death Watch Mandos, one of them, yeah, this one kind of looks like he might have like a weird knee. And like his helmet is like not centered. So I kind of want to pop this one open first just to see what's going on. What's going on with this bad boy? Uh, but this was the one that I was looking forward to the most of all the figures. Echo is a close, 
like almost the same second, but if I had to put one first, the death Death Watch Mando is first. Here we go. Let's take a look here. I have not watched anyone's reviews of these. I have no idea what to expect coming out of it. Uh, you know, all I've seen so far are the um, all I've seen are the like the the promotional images. That's it. So I'm very much looking forward to generating a first impression. So these are not going to be reviews. I'm not reviewing these by any means. Um, I always have plans to review figures. Whether or not I get around to reviewing those figures uh, lately, <laughs> in the last six months or so, has been kind of a crapshoot. Um, it just can be so daunting to review a figure. You have to like write it. You have to film it. You have to edit it. Post post pictures. Uh, it's it's a lot. So I kind of want to take a look at this at this knee here. You can see it's kind of the the actual knee pad is kind of wonky. Oh, it looks like it just. It just moves. That's it. No big deal there. Yeah. Okay. So we have all new, uh, all new everything on this, on this guy. We do have, oh, interesting. There's not a, there's not a head under there. It's sculpted to look like there's a chin under there, but there's not actually a head like there is with some of the uh, other newer Black Series figures with an unpainted head. There we go. I got it all centered there. So we have some loose rubber shoulders, which is not bad. Bullwinkle lady, how's it going? So I'm kind of, I'm paying attention to chat. You're getting a really good side view of my fat. That's not a good angle, but it is what it is. Um, let me see if I can move this over a little bit. So I'm not. There we go. Yeah, this, uh, Jens, this is definitely the figure I was looking forward to the most. Ooh, this is a soft rubber right here, and you can feel it. You can feel it move when you move the torso around. That's very interesting. So we have a movable finder. That's pretty good. Got a decent elbow. Not the best, not the worst. No frozen joints. That's nice. And of course, since it's new, I believe, yep, that's a, that's a butterfly joint. Oh, okay. So I see this is a soft rubber kind of over uh, torso interesting because you can see underneath there there's another there's another piece in there interesting uh let's see here wish those lay a little little flatter this looks like uh just the standard django fett nothing special about it wait maybe hold on Is there, is there articulation here? Maybe not Jingle Fett, because these these are separate, and that's a separate piece. So I think I think that this is a whole new backpack. It's just using kind of the same piece here, but this is a separate piece, and these are separate pieces instead of um, all one molded piece. So that's actually pretty good. There's some good paint on the back here too. Let's go ahead and get that on there. The jetpack, in my opinion, uh, is the most important part of a Mandalorian. Um, I know not every Mandalorian has one. Like it's, uh, uh, that does not stay on very well. Uh, what's her face? Uh, I keep wanting to say Ahsoka. That's not uh, Sabine. Didn't have a backpack for a long time. Um, Let's see. So we, he comes with a little kind of Mandalorian hand blaster here. I don't know what the... I'm sure they have a name, but he does have a holster for it. 
I got these from Dorkside Toys. They shipped it last Wednesday, and they got here on Monday. So I, I ordered a whole case. There we go. So that that fits very very nicely in the holster there. I like that. Ron Sarmiento, how's it going? Infernal Coon, how you doing? Slow DK, Toy Galaxy's here. Uh, yeah, I, I saw your post about uh, waiting for that that Manda order. Um, I was gonna give because there's, there's two in a box. I was thinking about, oh man, maybe I should tell Dan not to order it and I can give you my extra one. But then I just decided that no, I I actually want the extra one. <laughs> I want the second one. So that's that's gonna be that's mine. All right, there we go. Let's even get them in a pretty good pose here. One of the downsides to the the top top down is you can't. If I get them in a good pose, you're just seeing it from the top. Um, I'm I want I mostly want to do it this way because I was planning on uh, doing some transformers, and I figured this is an easier way to do transformers. But also, uh, and Kato, if you're you're he's probably still here, but uh, I finally got my um the next train guy in from from uh chosen prime so i shipped that today and part of the things i got in that roller stash was the upgrade kit for the npm bumblebee optimus prime so my plan is to with this setup do that upgrade on on live you know uh just kind of kind of go through what it takes to like take the pins out, put the new thighs in, put the new arms in, uh, get some screwdrivers, you know, being all manly and stuff like that. So, uh, I'm, I think it's going to be fun, but, uh, I'm also going to just kind of mess around with the trains on camera too. Uh, I'm also covering myself up. Do you guys like seeing me this way? Like I'm talking to the camera or do you want me to get rid of that? Let me know again. I'm just trying to, I'm testing this stuff out. Yeah, so my third and fourth train bots are on the way. Uh, I literally, I have the two legs sitting right here, uh, right right here off camera. And, and as soon as I get, because I know, I know, um, I don't know their Japanese names, but Iron, Iron Pants, I don't know, I don't know was Iron, was it Iron Arms? Whatever. He's legs, which is weird, but he comes in pants mode. So I'm going to put him straight on the legs. I'm not even going to transform him right when I get him. I'm just going to put him straight in. Uh, and then the other one, I'm going to put him in torso mode. So I have basic, I'll have an armless robot. That's my plan when I first get him. Uh, Infernal Coon, they, they're not, they were announced to come out in January of 2023, but Hasbro has been giving um, release dates that are further out than are, than are probably, they're overestimating their releases basically. Uh, because of the shipping stuff. So a lot of their released estimates are probably going to be a lot sooner than what they've been saying. Uh, I guess they'd rather err on the side of saying it's going to come out later and have it come out earlier than saying it's going to come out earlier and have something happen that pushes it out you know, later. Uh, because then you'll have a bunch of people mad for different reasons. Like, oh, you said it was going to be out now and you keep delaying it, whatever, whatever. Yeah. So uh dorkside toys got their got theirs in last week and i ordered the whole case because i've the one time i didn't order a case was the when they first came out with the galaxy packaging um i ordered all of those and it took forever for them to ship out i actually canceled my order there and got them someplace else because dorkside just wasn't shipping them out because i ordered them all like one at a time uh so since then from dork side, I've just been ordering a whole case and having them ship it out because and I, I do that not because I have some weird affinity for dork side. They don't, <laughs> they are not sponsoring me, <laughs> but uh, more often than not, I've gotten things super, super early from them in 2020, the Hoth rebel soldier. I got way before he came out retail. Um, the baby Yoda, the little figure, I got that like two months before he came out in retail. Um, uh, I've just gotten a lot of things from them way, way ahead of other people. Uh, I got the the last wave, the Boba Fett uh, Tython wave. I got that back in December. And a lot of people aren't getting them until like a, a month or so ago. So again, 
Uh, I've had good luck with them, more good than bad. That's only really if you order a full case. I've had bad luck if you don't. I've had great luck if you do. Yeah, under promise, over deliver. That's exactly what it is. Uh, oh, Cato, I I know. I'll definitely be uh, uh, I like I said, I've watched your your video on him a bunch. Uh, so uh, I'll I'll be prepared when I get him. I'm I'm not gonna go in blind because I don't want to break anything. I definitely don't want to break anything, uh, especially not something like that. So. Looking, I just found this Mandalorian figure in a Walgreens over the weekend while looking for the 212th. Yeah, a lot of people are finding this wave at Walgreens. Um, my co-host, Zach, for uh, the podcast that I do, Black Series Cantina, he got most of these at a Walgreens over the weekend. Uh, not all of them, I don't think, but most of them for sure. So that's 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 that. I do like it. It's it's good. I wish the backpack stayed on a little better. Gun's a little rubbery, and I can't get the trigger finger to actually go in there, but I haven't really messed around with it too much. Uh, but I do like I love the Death Watch logo on the shoulder there. That's good. So let's, uh, let's set him aside, and let's see. We're going to do Echo... Let's do the client. Why not? He's he's heavy. This is probably the between this and o Omega. I, I I don't. I mean, it's not like I don't like like them. It's not like I don't like them. Words are hard. I'm tired. It's a long day. But uh, I don't know. It's uh, it, it's really hard to build up your excitement for for ordering a uh, and opening a an old man figure. I have the same problem. Like if it were a Emperor Palpatine or like a Chancellor Valorum. Uh, you know, it's like, oh, here's an old man. There's an old man action figure. Ooh. Uh, no, a Sidious is a different story. Sidious is cool. I'm talking about if they made like a Chancellor Palpatine from episode one, it just, that'd be, it'd be kind of boring, you know? It's, it's literally just an old man. But I guess Emperor Palpatine's kind of the same, at least the first one and the archive one. Oh, that's not coming out. Come on. The archive Palpatine is literally just an old man in a robe. Like he doesn't have a lightsaber. He doesn't have any energy effects like the other Palpatine does. Uh, so that's that's kind of a, a bummer. Let's get that. So I think the second or third time we've gotten one of those. I know one came in the build-up pack. All right. Let's get that in there. One of the things I do like about this, first of all, let's let's put the figure aside here. Let, let's look at the Cam Tono here because this this was what I was looking forward to. Uh, so it looks like okay, okay, okay. So it does open up, and you can put this, I guess, back on top. These are these ice cream makers here. There we go. I was really bummed when the Walmart exclusive vintage collection Mando build-up pack came with a, a Cam Tono and not, not the Black Series one. So I'm really glad that Hasbro decided to give us a Cam Tono for the 6-inch because this is cool. There's little stacks of Beskar. That you can put in here. And you can kind of just close it up. I have the Hot Toys uh, Mando that comes with the Cantono. And it uh, it actually lights up. Which is pretty cool. Captain Wolf. How's it going? Infernal Coon, uh, do you, do I think I would like the Death Watch member early if I pre-ordered it alone on Dorks? It's really hard to say, man. Like I was saying, when I pre-ordered just single figures early, I didn't have good luck with Dorkside toys. And I generally, if I was just ordering one or two figures, 
I don't know if I would go with Dorkside Toys. It's only when I order full cases uh, that I've had good luck. Oh, I have to say, though, that is a really good likeness of Werner Herzog. I like that he comes with a gold medal. And it's kind of a, an accessory. Like, it's loose. I'm sure if I uh, if I pop this head off, I'm not going to, but I could take the medal off. Uh, but I, I wonder what he won this gold medal in. What 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 Olympic sport was he good at? Was it like uh, bobsledding, maybe? I mean, he's Werner Herzog, so I'm, I'm thinking something cold and northerly. Captain Wolf wants to know my thoughts on the new potential less plastic packaging. So uh, just to kind of spoil when we record the next issue, uh, episode of Black Series Cantina, we are going to be having a debate on that because I, I'm not necessarily for it. I just don't care. But my co-host Zach is very against it. Uh, and I, you know, I, I know the arguments and I get the arguments. The whole people are like, oh, people, you can't see your figures. So you'll know what you're getting before you buy it. But I buy a lot of things that way. Like, for instance, I've, I've got some very expensive transformers here on my desk. I haven't seen what those look like before I bought them. I just assume when I buy them, you know, they, they it is what I'm buying. Um, I don't really buy things from the store anymore. Although I just bought a whole wave of legacy figures. I did make sure that everything was sealed <laughs> when I bought it to make sure that I don't have any swap like swaps or anything. Uh, and I can tell you can tell if something's been sealed and, and resealed or retaped. So uh, I don't think I have any, anything like that, but uh, I, I don't know. I think Dan, if Dan's still here, he said, Basically, what I agree with, Hasbro could put them in a paper bag, and I'd still buy them. I'm an opener. I don't care about the box. I care about the figure. I don't. I don't buy these for the box. I buy them for the figure. That's why I'm doing a live stream while I'm opening them. Uh, so I really couldn't care less what they came with, as long as I get them. That's fine with me. There's nothing special to me about getting them out of the box. Uh, let's do the 212th figure here. The Clone Trooper 212th Battalion. This is a Walgreens exclusive here up up north in Canada. I believe it's EB Games or GameStop, I guess now, because they, they made the switch over. I worked for GameStop when they made the switch over here in the U.S. I got hired at EB Games, and a month after I got hired there, they switched over to a GameStop because they were all owned by the same company. A GameStop owned EB Games, but they, they, or they bought EB Games at some point but they never changed it over. And then at some point they changed them all over. Um, I worked at a GameStop in Austin, Texas. It's actually a suburb of Austin, Texas. It was uh, Cedar Park, which is just kind of close to Leander, which is, I believe, just south of Aust uh, Austin proper. It's just a little kind of. Just a little town, uh, but I I liked it. It was fun. Uh, it was I worked there in 2007, so it was like back when you know the Wii and Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 were all kind of big. So the 212th. Ah, let's look at that. You know, I have to say, it's never bothered me before. I know. In the cartoon, they don't have the black band. I know that. I watched it to make sure. But this, and this is not the only, the first figure I've I've had the first clone trooper without the black band. But this is the first one where I'm like, okay, that the helmet just it looks like it's missing something. Uh, I didn't care that the uh, what was it, was the first one was the um, the Camino trooper didn't have it. Didn't really care. The uh, Ahsoka 212th Trooper didn't have it. I didn't care. But but this one, I kind of do care a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to kind of look a little off next to the other 
the other figures. Also, his chin is kind of peeking out of the bottom there. Uh, I'm still on the hunt for one of these. I kind of want to buy one myself. Mostly, and it's a clone trooper, you know. I can have two on my shelf. I might have to keep this up and see if I can get it on there. It is. It's it's riding real high. It's kind of bugging me, these little chins peeking out there. It's hard to see because it's white on white on camera, but it's definitely peeking out there. Yeah, I didn't uh I didn't actually find it. So <laughs> don't feel bad that you haven't found it yet. I got mine from Papa Gord and apparently they've been in Canada for a while. Um so unlimited power, your Walgreens getting rid of the peg warmers from six years ago. That's good because I did go around looking at Walgreens recently uh last weekend, and I I saw a bunch of gin erso still, the original one. I saw uh, you know, the the ones we've seen a ton ton of times. Uh gins, uh Cassians, um even uh I saw Ray, uh I saw um Finn. So you know all the classics basically. All right, Kato, have a good night, man. I know it's three hours ahead for you. I tried to do this a little earlier, but it's almost midnight for you, so that, that makes sense. You have a good night. Oh, speaking of Papa Gord, there's Papa Gord. How you doing, baby? All right, Jens just bought the Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee Silver Streak tonight. Awesome. Looked over at a uh, that box a bunch. All three weapons were visible deep in the box. Seemed to be secure well enough, but I worry about theft in general. Yeah, I, I get that, but the, here's the problem. I just I don't feel like. I don't want to say Hasbro has no responsibility to stop that, but on on some level, I just wish people wouldn't be shitty. <laughs> you know, like in in a in a in a perfect world, this shouldn't be an issue. Hasbro could just set a figure on the shelf, and or or the store, Walmart, Target, like. Here's a figure, Here, twenty dollars. You can you can have it, whatever, and you you pick it up and you go buy it. But uh, but because people are terrible, um, you know they have to have boxes and packaging and anti theft deterrents and whatnot. And I just I wish it I wish it didn't need to be that way. Um, people just seem to to steal things because they can. Even people I and I don't have any specific examples of this. But I have a feeling that even the people that are saying like, oh, how can Hasbro do this? Why are they doing it like this? Uh, who are complaining about it? I feel like some of them are also doing it just because they're mad at Hasbro for doing it. And it feel, they feel like Hasbro is like inviting them to do it be because it's easier to do, which is not the case. But they've done weird mental gymnastics of like, well, if Hasbro didn't want me to steal these, they'd close the packaging. So I'm going to steal, you know, they've, they've tricked themselves into thinking it's okay to be shitty just because it's easier to be shitty. Uh, and I just, I wish that weren't the case. I wish people were just better at being people. What's up, Hilsey? How's it going? Alexander Nielsen with price increases. I've cut back, uh, a lot of black series to keep from uh to keep getting some imports and marvel legends darn you hasbro price hikes that are just getting worse i i don't disagree especially after today's marvel legends reveals the pre-orders i was gonna get the the venom because like i mean it looks cool i don't even care about the other guy although his sword is cool but venom with bat wings like heck yeah but i'm not paying 80 dollars for it i'm not gonna do it Need caffeine. Anyways, I should <clears throat> I should be playing with this more, I guess. Um, you know, I know, I know, uh, I don't know if Frostbite is gonna be on here. Have hey, I'll I'll pop over probably a little a little bit, Papa Gord. But um 
I really do like the new clone body. Uh, I like the proportions a lot better. I know the knees suck. This should be here. Uh, I, I get that. I understand it. But uh, I don't know. I really like the proportions of the new clone body over the old one. Uh, I, I just think it's, it looks so much better. All right. Let's see if I can... There we go. Get that in there. I just feel like it's so it's a lot easier to get him into cooler poses that you just it, it's not like you couldn't do the old one like this, but uh, but it's easier to get the new one into cool poses like this. Even I've got uh, off camera, I've got. crosshair kind of doing the same thing speaking of crosshair i'll bring this up on my on my podcast tomorrow but uh i had a i had a sad moment with crosshair uh i i had his gun taken apart and stored on his backpack because you can do that but trying to get it back together i pushed too hard and instead of snapping in the whole gun snapped apart thankfully uh, when the Imperial crosshair came out, I ordered a second one for a giveaway. And um, I just stole a gun from that one. It, the broken one's glued on a thing over there. I don't know if, if the glue worked. But uh, I, I, had to, I had to open up the crosshair and, and steal the, the sniper rifle because I wasn't going to have a, a broke sniper rifle. Oh, that's awesome. That's great, Hills. That's a good idea. Uncle Ben scooped up Bulkhead to complete Legacy Wave 1. That's awesome. I have all of Legacy Wave 1, with the exception of Galvatron and... Um, who's the other one? Blaster. Because I already have Galvatron and Blaster. I don't need another one. But I, I bought the others for sure. In fact, I've got them all right here. I'm all in on the new prequel Jedi coming out, though. Can't wait. Yeah, for sure. Though, like you said, it's all about picking and choosing at some point. Yeah, prices are going up. So instead of buying everything, you just kind of have to like, like buy buy what you really like. Uh, I'm still buying everything, but uh, at, at some point that might change. Hi, Uncle Ben. Thanks for staying alive. I have one Walgreens that has drastically shrunk their toy section. It used to be my go-to where they, they often had the exclusives I was looking for. I knew anytime an exclusive was like hitting stores, I'd go straight to that one. Uh, but now, yeah, they, they shrunk it down, which kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm going through my chat cause I kind of, kind of missed it here. Jen says, I'm glad the transformers at least had an open window on the current waves. Yeah, sure. You can see what you're getting, but closed boxes are a step too far. Hasbro has never had the best QC. That's true. Uh, but even even oftentimes, even when the packaging is like open and you can see the full figure, there are times I've gotten open, I've gotten home and the QC has still been bad and I've had to return it or or whatever. So I mean it, there's always a, a an issue. There's always a chance of that being an issue, I guess. Uh, time to cut back big time on Hasbro and instead buy buy a few select hot toys instead. I mean, you can definitely. I'm I'm waiting for my Ahsoka and Darth Maul to get here, so I'm I'm going to be doing that at some point as well. I'm very much looking forward to it, uh, and I'll probably do a live stream unboxing like I'm doing right now. Larkin's Lair, you old scoundrel! Thank you so much. You don't have to do that, but it it makes me feel really good. Dang, I'm going to leave that up for a while. You're a champ. Marky poses his crosshairs like I did. It's a good pose, right? It's just a really good pose. Hey, a random stuff garage. What's up, Chris? How's it going? I'd click on you to bring your comment up, but I'm leaving Larkins up because, you know, he gave me five bucks. <laughs> so I've got to.
Uh, unlimited power can't get into the new clone body. The new legs look weird. Uh, the arms are too thin. The Rex body is my favorite as it keeps the bulk of the old figures but fixes the articulation and proportions. That's that's a fact. That's true. That's a true point. Um, the the old Rex body in terms of the old body is best. But I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the troopers being a little a little skinnier. I, I because I prefer the Clone Wars animated style and this reminds me of that i think that's where i'm coming from here that's why i kind of prefer but i also feel like you know they can just stand there a lot of older figures have issues with just looking natural standing like their arms are kind of too far out because the sculpt won't let them put them to their sides or their legs just look a little funky i don't know Oh, dude, Chris, don't even worry about that. I, I, I don't expect anyone to donate any money, and I never ask for it. Uh, it's always super nice when people do. Uh, so so I want to just put a little extra attention to it. Um, go Also, you know what? Go go check out Larkin Lair's channel. Great channel. Also, Random Stuff Garage. Great channel. Here's a fun fact. Uh, Random Stuff Garage challenged me into doing my, my Jar Jar review in Jar Jar's voice. And I didn't. So he did. Uh, and go check that. Just check, type in, you know, random stuff, garage, Jar Jar into to YouTube. Go watch it. It's a, it's a good review. I really liked it. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm clicking off. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Larkin's Lair. What Sentai series are, are me and Dan currently on? We're, we're, a little over halfway through with Kaku Ranger, which is the series that became season three of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, it's good. I really like it. There, there's, there's a lot to like there. <laughs> it's the perfect amount of really silly, um, but also kind of awesome. What do I think about the Saw Guerrero we're getting? I think it looks awesome. I'm just from the photos I'm seeing. I, I think it looks great. Just based on the amount of plastic and deco, I kind of get the the price point. I don't love the price point, the deluxe price point, but I, I get it. Is all I'm saying. Uh, who's next? Let's do. Let's do Ahsoka next, huh? So we got Ahsoka Tano here from The Mandalorian. A lot of love here. It was a lot of fun seeing... She's number 19. A lot of fun seeing her in the live action screen. Uh, and Lily and I had just... I think when season two of Clone Wars hit, I think we just started the, the last season of Clone Wars. Oh, it's the next season of, of Mandalorian I, I, is what I meant. But um, so she she got to appreciate, you know, Ahsoka being from a cartoon into live action. And it, it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, sure. Her little Montreal head tentacle things are a little short, but uh, it doesn't really bother me that much. Like there's little details like that that, yeah, you can you can get hung up on them if you want to. But I just uh, life's too short, man. Life's too short. I'm sure they, I'm sure they had reasons. I'm, sh I'm you know, it wasn't like, like they just kind of forgot. I think the reasons were uh, the actress thought they were really weird, not weird looking, but like hard to move around with. Rosario Dawson. And I can kind of get that because she had some fight scenes. So. Oh yeah, I I fully expect to see those closer to to fall. Honestly, uh, I know it says uh, early twenty twenty three, but um, my guess is probably September or October, realistically. Uh, yeah, I agree. We've come a long way for sure. 
Alexander Nielsen sees the Saw Gerrera being a premium figure over the recent Boba Fett. Sure. He definitely looks really bulky. Absolutely. Excuse me. Um, yeah, that Boba Fett, man, I don't know. Uh, I tr- I try, you know, I try to defend Hasbro sometimes, but uh, like like with the cat uh Cobb Vance, I definitely did, but that Boba Fett, that's that's hard. That's a really hard to uh to to defend there. Dude, I'm there. We should do it. Uh in fact, um yeah, we should do it. I'm just saying that's all I'll say. We'll do it. Love the look of live action Ahsoka. I wish we'd get more smirking face or an extra pair of hands. Yeah, I, I, that's always been kind of an issue with Black Series figures. And, you know, I hear it's because Lucasfilm doesn't like body parts showing in packages. And that's why we don't get a lot. And when we do get some, they're hidden behind box art and things like that. So hopefully, now hear me out. This could be a plus thing, hopefully. If Hasbro if Hasbro switches over to cardboard boxes without windows for Black Series, that could lead to us getting more alternate heads and or hands because they won't be visible in the package in stores, which is, again, the issue there because we've gotten alternate heads and, and hands and stuff but it's always been hidden. All right. So I'm just looking at the articulation here. We have some upper thigh swivel. Although it won't this one, it'll swivel this way, but it won't, I can't get it to swivel the other way. I don't want to break it. Um, the upper thigh swivel is real tight. We have the new knees. Ooh, there we go. And they got a good swivel here. Uh, I guess that's just how I have to do it with these pants. Uh, these pants like this are kind of why I'd wish we'd get a new Darth Maul because like, I feel like Darth Maul had pants closer to something like this. Uh, and instead they keep u- using those old, old legs and those old legs are terrible. They're awful. All right. I forget which hand she usually has the long one in and which hand she usually has the short one in. I don't know if it matters, but <clears throat> oh, for sure, man. I'm there. I meant celebration Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh we'll definitely get beers. I know. Thursday night, I'm I'm having dinner with a friend. With uh, so I I don't know if I could do beers Thursday night, but for sure we'll get beers at celebration. That'll be a thing, or lunch beers, midday beers. Why not? Chewbacca was a, was originally supposed to be deluxe, but they scrunched him in the normal box to avoid. Yeah, and and he looked, and actually that was one of the reasons. I hate it when I do that. That was one of the reasons because Chewbacca was originally scheduled to come out in phase one, uh, but they scrunched him up with his legs kind of to the side. Uh, and I think Lucasfilm nixed that. They didn't like that his legs were scrunched up. So they delayed him to phase two, the first wave of phase two, because the packaging had a bigger open bubble and they could have him straight up and down. Uh, but then in phase three, he came out, I think in that first wave or the second, I think it was the first wave of figures. They put Chewbacca in there again with the kind of slightly different TFA deco. Uh, and he was scrunched up again, uh, but his lower half was kind of obscured because of the way the box was designed. So they, they let it pass. Completely agree. Uh, and part of the reason why I agree uh, are, I want them to do alternate like extra lightsaber i need extra lightsabers uh i've got a couple broke lightsabers (laughs) 
Like they should have packs with already made accessories hanging out there. I mean, they should do things like robes and whatnot. Sure. But I can't tell you how many lightsaber lightsabers I've lost because of shelf diving figures and they land, you know, lightsaber hilt first. And it's, it's just heartbreaking. Cause I don't want to buy a whole new figure just because I need a new lightsaber, you know, but I definitely am looking to get, hopefully uh GameStop will, will restock Darth Nihilus so I can get a new Nihilus lightsaber. Cause that one broke anyways. But yeah, we definitely need uh all right. Hey, Chris, have a good night, man. Sounds great. We'll do that. We are getting a new Clone Wars Darth Maul, and he 100% will have the robot legs. So that's going to be different. I'm talking more of a classic Maul, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we definitely need um, like robes and things like that. A lot of soft good accessories for sure. Anyway, so Ahsoka looks great. Uh, I really do like her. She's going to go well on my uh, Mandalorian. I'll think of a good pose for her later. Oh, uh, let's do... Let's do Omega, huh? Why not? Kind of finish out... No, I guess I have to open up Echo still. So she's not finishing out my, my Bad Batch crew. Now, do you... Do you consider Omega to be part of the Bad Batch crew? Do you uh, are you gonna have her with the rest of the squad on the shelf? Are you skipping on her? For me, o Omega is one hundred percent a bad batch crew person. She she's right there with the rest of them. Although technically, I guess if you put her in the crew, you have to take crosshair out legally, which kind of sucks now that I think about it. get this tape off here yeah i had the uh back in the day when episode one came out they had a couple of accessory packs for that i had the uh the naboo one the the one it had like ascension guns and stuff in it i forget what else it had in there i know there's also like an underwater one that came with like um flippers and a snorkel and things like that yeah it's real tough it's really tough paying that much money for this <laughs> she's basically an accessory <laughs> i mean at the very least you know she comes with what is that ruby i think that's this this thing's name Oh, and it's got articulation. That's that's kind of fun. It, I mean, not much. <laughs> it, it's just one point of articulation, but it's more than I expected, I guess. Uh, so we have that. We have a little rebreather because she used it in like one episode. And it fits on pretty well. It's not coming off. It just kind of... just kind of snugs on. It actually snugs on pretty well. But I'm going to put this back in the box. There's no way I'm going to display her like that. I might not even display her with the bow and arrow. It's just too big. And she she hardly ever uses it. I wish they came with one that wasn't unfolded like this. Because this doesn't, this definitely doesn't fold up. Because in the show, it, it kind of folds up. So I really do wish that we got one. Like instead of the rebreather, maybe they gave us a, a, one of these that was kind of folded. Let's see if I can. I did really like the whole kind of kind of middle beginning of Bad Bat Show when they had their headquarters at uh, I don't remember her name, but the the girl Trandoshan. 
uh, kind of bartender person. Um, I dug that. Uh, let's see. We gotta. There we go. It's really hard to get her in like a, a good bow and arrow pose. Let's see that. That should be good. Sid, thank you. Absolutely. That was it. Sid. Uh, that that was a fun little setup where they were just doing like odd jobs for Sid. I mean, I, I get why I can't stay that way, but it was fun. I feel like I feel like it's upside down. Nope, maybe not. It's the same upside. There we go. Whatever. That's good enough. I mean, it looks it looks fine. But I'll probably have her on my shelf with Sans accessories. Uh, except for I'll have little Ruby here. I think I think Ruby was the name. But I'll I'll have that there. All right. And that that just leaves. Echo. Echo is the one that I was looking forward to the most because, again, you got to complete the Bad Batch crew. But also, I just really love what they did with Echo um, in that last season of Clone Wars. I'm glad they they found a way to bring, bring him back. Uh, oh, I didn't even look. Because I haven't watched anyone's videos or anything. Uh, I didn't actually notice they did incorporate the back of his head into the helmet. That's actually really cool. Um, and apparently this was in concept art. But didn't make it into the show. Like a lot of things we've seen. Especially with like the, the Rex with the poncho and stuff. Yeah, he is perfectly just pale <laughs> he's pale um i love this the scomp link arm so cool does have his uh holster for his one gun that's good There we go. Sometimes those feet can be tight. Looks like he's got new knees, but uh, I don't know. I have to compare it next to the other Echo for like the comma here. Got a new backpack. It's a good backpack. The antennas don't raise or lower. There we go. Let's get that head in. So the little cut in the back here to fit around the back of his head. That's exactly that's exactly what it looks. He looks like Borg. Uh, is exactly what he looks like. That's a hundred percent a fact. Oh, there's a little. Um, let's get that. Let's get that off here. Let's, let's see if we can get that helmet on. It It's supposed to pin close back here. There it goes. Okay. wasn't super hard. But it can come off. I'm already forming opinions for the upcoming review that will definitely happen. I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a review of all the Bad Batch figures. Kind of a super review. Oh, man, I love his helmet. Oh, it looks so cool. 
And then again on the back. You can see the back of his head. Oh, I love that. Oh, it's so cool. Let's, uh, I guess we should try. Does this just fit on? Yeah, I don't think anything comes off, so I guess it just fits on like that. It's okay. That's definitely more Borg-like, that's for sure. Hilsey, I haven't heard of any reports of the George Lucas Stormtrooper hitting anywhere. Is that everything? That's everything. I like the little skull there. I like the nine nine up here. This is this. I think honestly, okay. So this is what we got here. We got Omega, Echo. Let's get all these little. What do you guys do with these? I just toss them. Anyways, we got Ahsoka, two hundred twelfth Death Watch. And then kind of under me there, we got the client. I wish they would give him a name, <laughs> you know? What do you mean? Um, what do you mean fully painted? What I guess, I guess it's missing a couple details here on the side, but I don't know. To me, that's kind of hard to notice. Oops. Trying to, I see I don't have the helmet flush all the way down. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it snaps down on the head. There we go. Let me see if I can get. Okay, so of all the new figures I got, first impressions. Uh, I love Omega as a character, but she's going to take a hit just because she is very small. So it sucks paying for that. So she's my, my least favorite of these. Second, I'm going to put the client here. Just again, I said it when I was opening him up. I mean, you're just buying an old man. I like him. I love Werner Herzog. <laughs> I like the character. But uh, as a toy, you just buy an old guy. You know, it's just not a big deal. Uh, next, I think I'm going to put Ahsoka here. No, I'm going to put the 212th Trooper here. Then Ahsoka after that. Then Death Watch. Then Echo. I think that's going to be the order in which I like these the most. That's actually a really good uh, a really good idea, Hilsey. Because it's, it's kind of it's like I'm I bought a Werner Herzog figure. I, I didn't I didn't buy a Mandalorian action figure. I bought a Werner Herzog figure. He's gonna be making some documentaries and movies and things like that. You know, it's just uh Yeah. Oh, what else we got? I think that's pretty much all I got. I do like the Cam Tono. I like that he came with Cam Tono. I think that's it. I think that's all I got. I don't, I'm not going to open up any other toys. I've got um, the whole first wave of Transformers Legacy over here. But... Um, I'm gonna go play some Elden Ring. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna 
the client actually is going to display really well with the remnant trooper. I'm probably going to have them hang out on my shelf right now. My remnant trooper, I think is like right here. I wouldn't, I need a will row hood for sure. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to bail. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here for this test stream. Uh, how, how did you like the, the setup? Did, did it work well? Can you, you like seeing me up in the corner and then what I'm playing with down here? I feel like so often when I live stream, um, I'm like doing stuff with my hands, but it's really hard to show on camera what I'm doing. Well, I'm not, I'm not judging these on characters though, is, is my problem. Uh, I'm ju I'm judging them as toys. <laughs> like if I didn't know anything about Ahsoka, uh, I'm just kind of judging them based on how I like the look of the toy. Uh, that's, that's all I'm really, I'm really, uh, judging here. Cool. Well, I'm, I plan on streaming more, maybe not more on, on YouTube. Uh, I do stream on Twitch. So Follow me on Twitch, my, my case. But I, I will stream more here as well. Uh, I got a whole plan to transform some Masterpiece Transformers and just kind of shoot the shit and talk. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to tweak it along the way. I don't like that this is so flimsy and floppy. I'll probably try to buy something a little bit more stable to... I wanted something I could put over the desk. Uh, so I bought this super cheap on, on Amazon. Uh, and it's it's a little flimsier than I'd really like. Uh, so I'll, I'll be looking at, at, some, at some different ways to do that, I guess. Cool. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And I'm going to see you... Later. Bye.